Sak passe, Chef Natasha. How are you? Yes. <laughs> Ma boule, I'm doing fantastic. Thank you for having me. <laughs> we love your pink outfit and your pink tray. You look so perfect for Rose Mansion in your backyard. And um, thank you so today, much. Oh, of course. Thank you. And today you're going to teach us how to make a beautiful summer salad with some Haitian Caribbean flavors. Is that true? Yes. And it's really, really an easy salad to do. And um, this is something you're going to enjoy all summer long. And the good thing is, even in winter, if you want to put some colors in your life, you're going to be able to do that recipe also. That's great because we all have uh, ingredients that we are like, how do we use this? Or we maybe have weird, funny things sitting around in our houses right now. So this is a good way. A salad is a great way to incorporate all those ingredients in a light, fresh way. Yes. Um, for the beginning, the first thing I did, it's really to make the, the vinaigrette. Uh, and I'm using uh, fresh mango. Um, because today it's a fantastic, beautiful, sunny day, I decided to grill the mango uh, for, this vin uh, for, for the vinaigrette. I'm using mango. I'm using also garlic. Um, I'm using um, fresh mint from my, from my garden. And also, uh, I'm going to use um, lemon juice. If you have lime, uh, lime juice, sorry, I'm using lime juice. If you have lemon juice, it's good also. Uh, and you need olive oil for this recipe. You need olive oil. What I did, I used the magic bullet. I put everything inside of the magic bullet. And also I add the honey. I add the honey and I mix everything inside of the magic bullet. And you could see the magic. <laughs> and the, the good thing with this, with this vinegar, you could add it on top of any salad, uh, fish, also shrimp, and chicken. I'm telling you, the flavor, it's so flavorful. And this is good, easy on the fridge for one maximum, max, big maximum, two weeks. But I'm pretty sure less than one week, you're going to eat all of it. <laughs> <laughs> that looks delicious. Do you think that that would be good on like a fish taco? Oh, yes, yes. Definitely, definitely. I'm a big fan of those. All right, so you put all those ingredients and we're going to put up a slide and we're gonna put up on social media the ingredient list and the recipe so that you can make this, um, you don't have to write it down right now, but all mm -hmm. of the ingredients for that vinaigrette go right in the blender or magic bullet, whatever you have. Yes. And whip it up. Perfect. Now, for the salad. Uh, what, what I'm using for the salad, I, I hope it's a good angle. I want to make sure you guys could see everything. That okay. Fantastic. I take the, the red onion, okay, and I'm adding cherry tomatoes, okay. You're adding your cherry tomatoes. Cherries bring so much colors, bring so much... I love red. I love colors. That's why, like, they have no way for me. I will not go do a, a recipe, a salad without using the cherry tomatoes. And, and I'm using uh, the avocado I put on the grill. If you have an inside grill, if you don't have a barbecue grill, you have inside grill, this is fantastic too. You could use it. Don't, you don't need to cook it too long. It's really, you just want to have those marks on it. Okay, you really don't need to cook it too long. And what you do, also you're adding your cilantro or fresh, uh, fresh um, uh, persil. Cilantro or fresh persil, you add it. Is so persil far, an ingredient that you find a lot in Caribbean and Haitian cooking? Yes, yes, we use, we use that a lot for flavor. When we marinate, uh, a chicken and when we, we marinate all the meat we use persil a lot and you need to add salt and pepper on, on, on the salad and also you're adding some olive oil and I love to add 
some lime juice. Lime juice, it's really the base of everything I'm doing. I'm adding lime juice on everything. <laughs> yeah, that looks like summer in a bowl right there. <laughs> oh my goodness, yes. And now what you do, you go and you mix everything. I'm telling you, this is like you travel with me right now. I'm bringing you to my beautiful country, Haiti, right now. <laughs> yes, please. We need a vacation. So food is such a great way to take a virtual vacation if you can't actually travel like we're all, you know, at home right now. But being able to make food from your home or from a place you love to travel, it's such a great way to transport yourself. Yes. Definitely. And what the what it's nice about about this virtual uh, Rosie mention is doing right now for you people is is bringing joy to your life. It's bringing love to your life. I'm telling you, I know right now you are on a happy place. <laughs> and now, since I'm a pink lover, I have no way I will go without <laughs> my pink flamingo. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I love that. We have a flamingo room at the mansion where you can go in and be surrounded by all these pink flamingos on the walls. So that's perfect. Yes. And also I have to confess with you guys, I'm, I love going to men, uh, was a mention a lot, but one thing you should know, I don't drink at all. I don't drink alcohol. No way. I don't drink alcohol at all, but for me, going to the mansion, it's really to go for the fun, for the joy, for the love, for the, all the energy and all the vibe the Rosé team is doing for people. That's why I love to go there to really have a good time. But I don't drink alcohol, but I still find a way to enjoy myself. <laughs> That's the great thing is like Rosé Mansion, it's not just for wine. It's about celebration and happiness and friendship and getting together with the people that you love. So yes. you don't have to be a drinker to come to the mansion. That's really important. <laughs> and thanks, Tasha, for uh, letting everybody know that. <laughs> yes, exactly. Because it's all about good vibe. You know, it's all about joy and good, good, good energy and sharing the love and the passion. Now, you could see the salad coming together. And I'm just going to add the little vinaigrette. I want it. could add just a little bit of olive oil. I love to add a little bit of olive oil also. And you take the vinaigrette. You could do a little decoration on your, your plate. Ooh, that's very fancy, very chef-like. <laughs> on your plate. And you finish with a little bit on the top. I always add the vinaigrette really when it's time to serve the salad because if you put it too early, the salad is going to be too, too, um, too loose. Like, um, no, I don't like that. I really wait when it's time for me to go serve to the people and I add any vinaigrette to it. There we go, people. <laughs> the summer salad. 